Hello guys welcome to celebrity news and lifestyle where we give you the right update and all of what you will like to know concerning our music stars and movie superstars, so if you're new here or if at all you're just passing by for the first time, please take some minutes of your time to subscribe, like, comment and hit the notification button so that you don't miss in any of my uploads. Francis Ngannou vs Anthony Joshua set for 10-round KO boxing fight in Saudi Arabia. Former UFC heavyweight champion Francis Ngannou returns to Riyadh, Saudi Arabia for another major boxing event. He is scheduled to fight two-time world heavyweight boxing champion Anthony Joshua, promoter Eddie Hearn confirmed on Friday. The 10-round heavyweight bout was first reported by Ariel Hawani, citing Saudi Arabia's General Entertainment Authority Turkey Alalshi. It will take place on March 9, according to Hawani and ESPN's Mike Coppinger. Funganu, who is 0-1, this fight is another opportunity to prove that leaving the UFC in early 2023 was a good move. He already achieved the improbable when he secured a major boxing match against Tyson Fury, whom he lost by split decision on October 28 in Riyadh. But despite being a 1400 favorite against Nganu, Fury said he was taking the fight seriously. Fury, the WBC champion and lineal heavyweight boxing champion, was wise to do so. Nganu looked competitive in the fight and turned heads when he defeated Fury in the third round. When it was all over, some fans even declared that Nganu had won the fight. It was a win-win scenario for Nganu and resulted in him receiving the biggest payday of his career. UFC President Dana White's success came after he came under scrutiny for leaving the UFC and joining the Professional Fighters League, despite offers that would have made him the highest paid heavyweight in the history of the promotion. Now Nganu is making money as a boxer again and appears to be looking forward to the next stage of his career. Even though Joshua hastily posted the news on social media, he has not yet acknowledged it. Joshua will have to talk about this fight soon, but he will get a chance to promote it on his home turf. A press conference is scheduled for January 15 in London, according to Hearn. Joshua most recently defeated Otto Wallin on December 23. The British star made the fight look easy by forcing Wallin's corner to submit after five rounds. This was Joshua's third win in a row, and he hopes to continue that streak against Nganu. Of his 27 career wins, 24 were by knockout. Joshua was scheduled to fight Deontay Wilder instead of Nganu in March, but the fight was reportedly scrapped last month when Wilder lost his temper with Joseph Parker. Another form of combat sport may soon be heading to the fighting capital of the world. BKFC representatives presented the possibility of approving bare-knuckle boxing in the state to the Nevada State Athletic Commission on Tuesday. BKFC President David Feldman and commentator Sean Wheelock were ready to make their case to committee members. Dr. Don Marzi, BKFC chief medical officer, attended the meeting via teleconference. Berechnical, or your perception of it, if you've never seen it before, you think it's different than it is Feldman said when NAC president Dallas Horn said he had never seen a berechnical boxing match. It is developing faster than any other martial art in the world. It grows very quickly. Let me tell you why. Because this is very important for everyone. Everyone in the world knows what a bare-handed attack is. They can get behind this. They can relate to it, and that's why our fan base is really growing, and we now have the best fighters in the world. The decision to officially sanction bare knuckle boxing was made Tuesday, as the agenda item was not put to a vote. No decision was made, but talks between the two sides were generally positive. The debate could resume with an actual vote at a future committee meeting. I will take this into account and get back to you, Horn concluded the discussion. Thank you so much for coming. This is fun. I'm glad to hear it's safe and surprised at how quickly my hand broke. Some of this stuff is a lot better than I thought because I thought it would be a lot higher. Thanks for watching to the end. If there's something about this video that you like to share, please do share with us. And guys don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share and leave your comment on the comment section below. Your comments matters. See you next.